Hey, lad. Don't you want a little wager on the rack? Henry, I'm so... What now? Shall we take a walk? It didn't really work out last time, did it? This time, there'll be no mistakes. We'll see about that. And where would you care to go? What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's go. That was a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> it's disgusting. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too. So don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome, but that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what, let's not doddle. was fun. <coughs> Sit down here next to me, Hal. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Oh, it's endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. <laughs> a chicken stuffed with... stuffed with a frog. Yeah, and that's nothing compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> a goat stuffed... <laughs> <laughs> with a pig? <laughs> Now then.
Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. What? I hope your knees didn't buckle too. You rascal. You know what? Ask me another time. Another time? The next time you come to see me. You will come and see me again, won't you? Uh, I don't know. I am awfully busy. Well, if you do find the time, I'll be glad to see you. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. You come from the bay. I was told to pick up a kit here. I'd say there's not much room for improvement. You already look as good as any vassal, but your wish is my command. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all? You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. I could do with a bite to eat. Look what I've got for you. will love this.
Good day to you. Farewell. My respect. Farewell. Someone there? Jesus! Hey, what the? Clear off before I call a catch pole. Hey, right where you are. Oh. Surrender. You committed a crime on my Where could he have vanished to? He must be here somewhere. Uh -huh. Stop! Uh -huh. Stop! Caught you! What? Don't play games with me. I know full well about the assaults you committed. You should have thought twice about what. You're making it, but that was Damn it. You
Why? Probably some animal. What was that noise? Hey, you! Don't! What are you doing to that lock? You should have thought twice about what you were doing. That will land you a fat fine. Oh well. Oh. Give me all the things. I never. What? What part didn't you understand? Hey! You. Stop right where you hey. are! Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Surrender. Hey, you! Don't you move a muscle! A crime. you at last. What? I'll give you what? This definitely... Alright. You... What? What do you think this is? An inn? Get the hell out of here!
beat it. Here I am. I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? What am I to do? A poor wretch who's homeless... I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lived right by our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there. Maestro Proto Notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Everything for the house, garden and field. Knives, axes, plates, bows. Get the best life. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Go to the church. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the Armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll go right away. Right away. God bless you, Henry. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so.
Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kahelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Berhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory.
again. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Uh. Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. That fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly, and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? So, bring it on. My pleasure. Damn. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one.
someone there. I'm honored that Master Bailiff. Nothing of interest. Farewell. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> Did <laughs> you find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsure on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save them, bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... 
<laughs> Fires around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Christ is happening here. Hell, answer me, damn you. This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore! Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Here again. Be there. Do you know if there's any? Could be. You're the blacksmith's son from Scullitz, ain't ya? The bailiff here could probably use you. He's got some... He was moaning about it here.
Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? Yes. Really? What is it? A cart horse? Actually, it's... Never mind. I don't really care. Just try to keep up with me and don't fall off. Take care now. Yes, sir. Hannah was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemen. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. Understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah! I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour, Panosh is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Yes. 
I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can. So I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The humans attacked Scalets and um, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want detail. Is it really necessary? So. Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well... It's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll cab there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Bring me wine and bacon from the saddlebag. Coming up, sir. And the bacon? Where's the bacon? I have it right here, sir. At long last. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush? is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. 
I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footstep. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. What are we going to hunt? Humans. What? Cumin? <laughs> you should see your face! <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about scallops. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scalitz, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? But the Cumans have horns and hooves. I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir.
Sir, wake up, sir. It's time to go. <sighs> what? Are you mad? It's still dark. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you dolt. Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? Go back to sleep. Damn it. Take care now. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Well, Henry, it cost me a lot of effort, but it seems I've finally succeeded in making a half-decent warrior out of you. Anything I can do for you? Sir? Not now, blacksmith. Keep it for morning. God be with you. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. By all means, Sir Hans. Ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Let's hunt something, eh? Hair. Get him!
good fella. That's my boy.
Look what I've got for you.
I wonder what Teresa's doing now. I could stop by and see her again. I enjoyed it last time.
Yeah. How did the hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. Look, show me. Not bad, though. Quite good, actually. For a common blacksmith's boy. Um, shouldn't there be some reward for the victor? Jesus, the insolence. A serf asking his lord for coin. But never let it be said I'm a pinch purse. Very well, then. Your serf humbly thanks you, my lord. And now come along. Let's go and hunt some real game. Henry, follow me. We're going hunting.
See here, wallow, and it's been freshly rooted. There'll be ball somewhere nearby. So, just like last time, slow and quiet, whatever you do. Understand? Or well, watch out for them from the top of that mound there. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good! <laughs> Quiet! So, next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... <laughs> Fuck! After him! Fetch! <laughs> Mount up, Henry. Chase down that swine. Let's have a look at you. Are you injured? Henry! What the fuck happened? Y 
You turned up uninvited at some human social gathering. And you took them all? So it seems. God's holy britches! I never knew you had it in you, Henry. Remind... Remind me never to get on the wrong side of you. That wound on your head doesn't look good. <sighs> Not to worry. I'm sure it doesn't look half as bad as it fucking feels. <sighs> You'll have to help me get back to Rate. Come along then, sir. It's Lord Capon! Get here, everybody! You, help him! How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. <laughs> I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Uh... Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. Well, he's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. Attention, layabout! The Neuhoff stud farm's been raised. Hey! Look out. Get your arses mounted up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up.
Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzig sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you... Now, mount up. Godly. Last one there won't find me a happy man. Yeah. See that smoke? Is the whole of fucking Neuhoff on fire? Yeah. Where's your master? In... in the paddock. <sighs> Crucifix. What kind of beasts could do this? By the blood of the martyrs.
What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses... screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them... And then my husband... When my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? <laughs> Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow their trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, someone must have at least caught sight of him. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far and come back here when you're done. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scallets a few times. His poor widow. Ask. I... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Go on. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognise any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarrelled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No. 
I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. I don't know of anyone else. Sure. <laughs> Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What's wrong with your arm? That's nasty. It needs to be cleaned out and bandaged. Let me. Hmm. That feels a mite better. Thank you. What do you need to know? What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? <laughs> yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the others started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? How? You know the area. How can I figure out which way they went? Hmm. They left in a hurry. You could see if there's a fence knocked down. Or a gate. Goodbye. How could anyone be so cruel? See what they did here? Kill them! Find those horses and kill them! How could anyone be so cruel? <laughs> 